All right, what's going on up there, Missy? Cleaning. Cleaning what? Mm, my new house. We're watching, uh, oh, I flash over right when it's white. We're watching Mark's RV Garage. Yeah, so we got our motorhome, dogs. And it has got some goods and some bads. In July of 2012, I was born again. With the mainstream media propaganda machine sensationalizing the end of the Mayan calendar into a cataclysmic doomsday scenario, and the fear-mongering alternative media capitalizing on the apparent formation of a new world order, Amy and I decided to sell it all and move into an RV. Two Bibles, two computers, two wardrobes, and two cats. That's pretty much all we need. This is our story. All right, so we've moved to the RV, which uh, I haven't recorded the RV yet, but here's uh, here's what my hallway looks like, which uh, nothing too strange about how my hallway looks, but how my hallway sounds on the other hand. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but we've got people screaming and uh, some music playing. It's not the theme song to our show, but it's something very similar. <laughs> it's some Peruvian jam. They uh, they play it. They play it loud. So yeah, it's 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 way past bedtime, and uh, yeah, just a little touch, a little taste for you. This is what we have to listen to in the ghetto when you're trying to sleep. All right, here we are, uh, moving in and adjusting some stuff. Obviously, I got screws and computer stuff and my uh, drink of choice. Listening to uh, Joel Schimmel tell us that Harry Potter is the devil. We already knew that, but we like listening to it. Um, had some pizza last night, had a good friend over helping us out with some stuff. He brought us some tea for a housewarming gift. If you're watching this video and you haven't brought us a housewarming gift, what we really need is a new stove. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. We're doing some work on it. Um, that's where the microwave went. We don't want to use the microwave anymore because, um, well, the main reason is because the microwave was broken. So. But the reason we're not going to use it anymore isn't because all of a sudden I got health conscious. It's because it's broken and we're deciding to become health conscious since it's broken. So we have a little toaster oven that will be sticking up there. Got my, got my Joshua 24 15 hung up already. Amy's cleaning out my bedroom. That up there is her bedroom. It's uninhabitable right now, but that folds down into a bed. This thing folds down to into a bed. We'll figure out something. These probably fold down into beds. So there's lots of room up here, uh, but it needs work. I don't know if you can see that, but there's water damage and mildew, and we anticipated it and we were prepared for it. Um, a motorhome this age at, in, in our price range would need some work. So luckily we can work on that while we're living in it. The rest of the house is inhabitable. We've got our shower. This is the best part right here. This is the best part right here. Um, got my computer set up with two monitors. It's kind of crowded, but even a little chair fits. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna try and switch the lighting. There we go. So the, there. 
little chair fits right there and I can do my work there. The lights stopped flickering. Um, right now we're parked in the ghetto. We're broken down. The engine gave out on our way home. From, we're in Compton. Oh, we're um, we're back at our other house. In the ghetto. Yes, and uh, I have a guest over. He doesn't want to be on film. We'll respect that. Um, so here's looks like this is probably going to be Amy's bed for now. Um, because that up there is not suitable for human consumption yet. So that'll be her bed. We got the surround sound system. It's not really, but it will be when I'm done with it. Because that's how I do it. We got, this is a mess. So this is a before. This is not the after. Um, but we do got a shower. It's filthy. We were in a hurry to pick it up. We didn't give the guy much time to clean up. Um, we said we would take it from here because we wanted we wanted to get this adventure started. So we haven't washed it at all, but that's what it looks like. Huge motorhome. Wow, this is the first time I've actually um, looked at it in its fullness. This is a big, humongous motorhome. The thing had sat for a while, so we didn't know what to expect. We know we got. Um, a, a good deal as far as money goes, but we still, you know, um, only spent one two thousand and one Honda Accord. So we've only spent about four thousand dollars on this thing, and um, a four thousand dollar motorhome is going to have it's going to be persnickety <laughs> about some things. So uh, we first got it, and the lights would pulse. Um, so all throughout the RV, the lights are dimming and brightening and dimming and brightening. Not constantly, but like every two minutes, the lights would start dimming and, and then it would go away. And so that was frustrating. Um, only, a, only about half of the lights throughout the RV worked. Um, the microwave wasn't working. Um, what else did we got going on? It was filthy. It was dirty. Uh, the heater works awesome, which is a huge plus because I hate to be cold. Um, the we the microwave. It turned out the microwave just didn't work. So that socket wasn't bad. It's the microwave itself, which is fine. We don't really need a microwave. We'll probably buy another one and, and stick it in there. Um, wound up finding out that the battery. Uh, the battery, one of the cells was empty. So we filled it with water and lo and behold, uh, distilled water. Lo and behold, now the lights stopped pulsing on and off, on and off. So the electricity problem has uh, been fine all day now after fixing that. Um, we found some breakers that have been tripped, um, possibly because of the, the battery that had a problem. And uh, now all the lights in the RV work. Um, so basically, all that's going to be needed to do to, to really get this thing up and running um, and livable is, uh, well, we already did. That's what we did all day today. We've had it for two days now, and um, I gave you a little bit of a walkthrough already. We've got a, um, no, I didn't give you a walkthrough. What I got is, uh, took some pictures to show you. So we've got uh, the, my bedroom is set up with my computer so I can work and I can produce the show. Um, the kitchen is functional. The refrigerator works. The microwave doesn't work, but that's fine. The oven works. The range works. Um, the bathroom works, but um, we we need a part in order to get the shower working, and that's coming in on Monday. Um, it's not costing us anything. That was included in the price of the RV. So, um, so yeah, lots of cleaning, and we are good to go. The thing ran fine getting us here, and... Uh, now it's just all about moving in. You know, we've got our clothes in the closets and um, we've been living in it for a day now. And uh, w now we're still at the old house. Um, haven't driven to the new place yet. That's, that's still a week away. But we're gonna live in this, in the driveway of the old house for a week while we still have access to the old house as we get this thing more comfortable for us. Um, and if there's anything that we need to do any quick remodeling or anything, you know, we have a place to work. So that's the update for now. Um, and we'll see you 
episode five. our bathroom that's the most important part of the motorhome right there I plan on spending a lot of time right there